Hey guys, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to descale your Keurig K Slim. It's actually a pretty easy process and you guys could probably do it with stuff that you guys have around the house, such as white vinegar. So we're gonna make this as quick as possible. And basically we're gonna start by removing a carbon water filter if you guys have one installed already. And then you guys need to make sure that this is completely empty. We're gonna make a solution here that's gonna help clean the machine and it's gonna be about 14 ounces of just tap water and then 14 ounces of white vinegar. And that's just roughly a little under two cups. This just makes sure that the vinegar is not too strong because the vinegar by itself could actually damage the machine. Now, I just made a mess, so I'm gonna go clean that up then I'll be right back with you guys. Also, something else that's really important, when you guys start this, make sure that you guys remove the K-cup if you guys have an old one in here. You want this uh, part, the K-cup holder, completely empty. So, the more you know. So now that you guys have the solution in the back here, all we're gonna do is we're going to make sure the machine's off. So the button up here, the power button, just make sure it's not on. Now we're going to hold the eight and 12 ounce button at the same time for three seconds until the D scale light comes on. So from there, hopefully you guys could see the K button is flashing and then the D scale button is also flashing. Now we're just gonna use the same container here. We're gonna put it under here and now we're gonna run two cycles of this vinegar solution through here. Just press that K button and it's gonna go ahead and get started. By the time the second brew is done, we should just have a little bit of water or a vinegar solution back here, and that'll just get tossed. So during this process, you probably are gonna see some like chunks of either white water buildup or like coffee grounds inside of your water. That's gonna be pretty normal. The vinegar is really gonna help loosen up all of that debris and actually clean out all of the inner workings of this machine that you guys can't clean with like a tool. So my water looks pretty gross right now and this thing needed to be cleaned. So it's a great thing that we're doing this. I'm gonna go empty this and run one more cycle of this cleaning solution and then I'll show you what to do next. All right, so we just finished our last cycle of the vinegar water solution. So now I'm gonna take out the back reservoir and we're gonna dump both of these. After I do that, we're gonna rinse out the water reservoir and clean it with like a sponge or a brush and then we're gonna fill this all the way up with just normal water. And then we'll do three cycles of 12 ounce brews, all while the machine is still technically off and the descale light is on. All right, so now we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're gonna press the K. It's gonna do a brew with just the water and this is gonna help get rid of some of the vinegar smell that might still be lingering. We're gonna go through this entire water reservoir until it says add water, just maintaining the same process. And I'll get back to you guys at the end of the step. Alrighty, so I just finished the three brews of the normal water and the descale light just went off. So you guys should not see anything on the top anymore. It should just be off. So depending on how your last brew smelled, you guys could stop there, but if you still smell some vinegar, what I would do, I would just uh, refill this reservoir and just repeat the same steps, but we're going to turn the machine on and just do a normal 12 ounce brews. So I'll show you that in just one moment. The only reason that it's slightly different than the previous step is because we're no longer in the descale mode. All right, so now all we're gonna do is we're going to open the machine up like that. We're gonna press the 12 ounce and then the K button right there. And we're just going to let it do a normal brew just as if you had coffee in here, but with nothing in the K cup and just plain water. After you guys get through all of the water in here, you guys should no longer have any leftover vinegar smell and you guys should be ready to brew your normal coffee. Now, just a little bonus. If you guys weren't able to get out of the D scale mode, try doing the exact same steps at the very beginning of the video. Just start over, try that again. Or you guys could just unplug the machine for three minutes and then plug it back in and see if it resets itself. Now, with that being said, that's how you guys descale the Keurig K Slim. 